This video is on JVC key features for 2022. Chris, we've got a lot of stuff. DILA is, is, is the heart of that. Um, yes, Jeff. It and sure uh, direct drive image light amplifier, three chip design, LCOS based platform. Best what black else? level, best contrast. Okay. But none of that would be as big a deal if we didn't also have an all glass lens. All glass lenses. Yeah. We've got a 65 millimeter diameter down here. That's our standard lens. And uh, then on our top model, we have a 100 millimeter diameter, which is our brightest, sharpest, most precise, uh, absolute, most premium. So bigger optics. lens can make it a brighter picture, right? Um, a, br a brighter picture is going to be able to be used on a larger size screen, right? right? Um, but at the same time, not everybody is going to need that 100 millimeter all glass lens. They can use a 65 millimeter all glass lens, say with smaller screen sizes. And, and speaking of screens, no matter which lens they go with, they get 10 installation modes. That's pretty cool. So you can use uh, not only 16 by 9, but 235, 240, all those different aspect ratios so they can get the full resolution of that chip from uh, uh, any JVC DILA projector. Exactly. And, uh, you know, beyond that, uh, there's a lot of things that are new for this year. We've added HDR10+, uh, which is another form of dynamic tone mapping. And we've got dynamic tone mapping in the form of... Frame Adapt HDR, uh, which ties into our theater optimizer and our automatic picture mode select, so that the customer literally, once the installer has left the home, the customer shouldn't even need... Uh, to worry about picture modes or anything. It's completely automatic. Automatic modes that help picture quality, not only for um, scene by scene, frame by frame, HDR 10 plus content. This is all dynamic tone mapping. And again, I can't use the word enough, automatic. Uh, that automatic feature pack is that's built into JVC projectors this year. And one other thing we should talk about is we have now 48 gigabit per second connectivity with HDCP 2.3. So uh, on, on our laser models, this is 8K in, 8K out. So we're talking uh, 8K mm -hmm. at 60 frames per second. Yep. But then also uh, for the gamers that are out there, right. uh, we got 4K at 120 frames per second. Mm -hmm. uh, so the best, most up-to-date HDMI connectivity on every model we make. On the lamp-based model, it's simply 4K at 120 frames per second. You mentioned 8K and 60P. That 8K is important. How do we get to 8K on these projectors? So on the uh, uh, entry-level laser model, we have 8K E-Shift, so we're flashing the screen twice. So we're doubling the number of addressable pixels, and then the rest of the pixels are created by the way they overlap. On the top two models, we have 8K E Shift X. So now we're flashing the screen four times for every frame of video. And when we do that, we're able to utilize the full 35 million pixels that's in that 8K signal. That's a lot. So 8K E Shift, single axis at 120 times a second. Mm -hmm. 8K E Shift X, dual axis at 240 times a second. 35 million pixels or 17.7 .7 million pixels. Either way, that's a lot of image on the screen. I like the way you do that. Thanks. All right, so nonetheless, frame rate and resolution do matter. There's, there's content out there today that, they, that both frame rate and uh, resolution uh, matter as well. Um, we were talking about 48 gigabits per second. Uh, currently, um, that uh, 4K only requires 18 gigabits per second. This is quantum leap in terms of the bandwidth that's required for 8K 60P as well as 4K 120. JVC DLA projectors for 2022 have that ability. Yes, they do. It truly is the complete package.